Hello students, I am Dr. Vinita Rathur. Today we will discuss about cell cycle. What is a cell cycle? A cell cycle is a series of events that take place in a cell as it grows and divides. The cell cycle is a process in which a cell grows and divides to create a copy of itself. Some organisms reproduce through the cell cycle and in complex multicellular organisms, the cell cycle is used to allow the organisms to grow and to replace cells as they grow worn out. In animals, the whole cell cycle takes around 24 hours from start to finish. Some cells such as skin cells are constantly going through the cell cycle while other cells may divide rarely if at all. Neurons for example do not grow and divide once they are mature. Phases of cell cycle between two consecutive mitotic stages, the cell remains in interphase stage. Some call it the resting stage of the cell, but actually it is not the resting stage of the cell. During interphase, cell goes, every cell does everything except cell division, but the nucleus and the cytoplasm remains metabolically active. Interphase stage is divided into three phases. First is the G1 phase, which is called as first growth phase. Second is the S phase, which is also called as the synthesis phase. And the third is growth and preparation for mitosis, that is the second growth phase. Phases of cell cycle. Cell cycle consists of three phases, G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. G1 phase is the growth and synthesis phase of the cell cycle. S phase is the phase in which DNA synthesis takes place and G2 phase is the phase in which cell prepare itself for the cell division. After G2 phase, M phase comes which is the mitotic phase which includes the overlapping process of mitosis and cytokinesis. G1 phase is the gap phase first. It begins at the completion of the mitosis and cytokinesis and it lasts until the beginning of the S phase of the interface. G1 phase is generally the longest phase of all the phases of cell cycle and it is quite variable in length. During this phase, the cell chooses either to replicate DNA or to exit the cell cycle and enter a quiescent state, which is also called as the GO phase or G0 phase. As we know that some of the cells keep on dividing, so such cells regularly complete the mitotic phase and enter into the G phase. But few cells like nervous cells, which once matured, they do not go under the cell division process. So as soon as they mature, they exit from the cell cycle and that is called as the G0 phase. S phase is also called as the synthetic phase of the cell cycle. Replication of the chromosome is restricted to one specific portion of the interface and that phase is called as the S phase or the DNA synthetic phase, which is typically lasts about six hours. In mammalian cells, the start of S phase, the actual initiation of DNA synthesis takes place several hours after the cell has committed to carrying out DNA synthesis. During S phase, each chromosome replicates exactly one to form a pair of physically linked sister chromatids. In animal cells, a pair of centrioles is also duplicated during S phase of the cell cycle.
J2 phase. The portion of interface that follows S phase is called gap 2 phase or the second growth phase. In this stage, the cell keep on growing and preparing itself for the mitosis cell division. Some cells can exit the cell cycle from G2 phase just as they can from G1 phase. The combination of all these three phases together called as interphase. M phase. M phase includes the overlapping process of mitosis and cytokinesis. M phase is also called as the mitotic phase, which is further subdivided into four substages prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. After completion of the telophase, cell divides itself into two daughter cells, which are having the same composition of DNA as the mother cells. And thus, the cell completes its cell cycle. 